man, New Comic Book Day can really sneak up on you. But it's time to take a look at the books coming out this Wednesday, February 23rd, so I can tell you what I'm getting. What's up, guys? BJ Kicks here. I buy comics, I read them, and I review them. All for your viewing pleasure. If you're new here, welcome. If not, welcome back. Now, on this channel, I talk about comics a lot, so if you like comics, you should consider hitting the subscribe button. Uh, now, this is the latest in the series that I like to call What I'm Getting, where I take a look at all the books that are coming out this week. I tell you what's on my pull list, what's on the chopping block, you know, series I just can't pull anymore, and what's on the maybe list when I'm making a game day decision about. Uh, so I love breaking down these books. Uh, we try to stay under budget. I try to keep at my budget of $50 a week. We'll see if we're successful or not this week. Now, there's a lot of books to talk about. It's a very exciting new comic book day, as they always are. And I love starting with the book that I'm most excited for. But first, a quick shout out to our sponsor, Ultimate Comics. Ultimate Comics has four locations in the Raleigh-Durham Triangle area. Raleigh, Durham, Cary, and a second Raleigh location inside the Crabtree Valley Mall. And what's really dope is even if you're not local to the area, you can shop exclusive covers that you can only find at Ultimate Comics. This week, there's not one, not two, not three, but four. Four Ultimate Comics exclusive covers for Silver Surfer Rebirth, Electra, Black, White, and Blood, and for Ghost Rider number one this week. So I think my favorite of the four is that Ghost Rider frame variant, the Marvel 25th anniversary frame. Uh, they just, they're just so good. But I do like that electric cover as well. Um, but anyway, you can grab all of these exclusives at varying price points ranging from about $20 to about $50 at ultimatecomics.com or just hit the link in the description below. It'll take you straight to the Ultimate Comics exclusives. So definitely act fast because each of these is limited. So yeah, you don't wanna be last to the party. Now, thank you so much to Ultimate Comics for sponsoring this video. Now let's talk about the books coming out this week. And like I said, the book that I'm most excited for is what I would love to start with. And so we are. This is Hardware Season 1, Issue Number 4. Now Hardware, written by Brandon Thomas with artwork by Dennis Cowan part of the Milestone Returns line, which, by the way, just announced a couple of new series, Blood Syndicate and Duo, are coming in May. Very excited about those. Now, Hardware has been my favorite of the Milestone Returns books so far. I think it's been the best written series, and it's had some of my favorite art. I think I go back and forth between uh, Hardware and Static, uh, just depending on the issue. But honestly, all the Milestone Return titles have great art. Uh, Icon is definitely no slouch with Doug Braithwaite on pencils. Uh, but anyway, Hardware has been really good. And in this issue, it looks like we're getting teased the return of Technique, which is just, you know, a character from the original run. I'm really excited about it, but also it's just been a very fast paced, but heartfelt story. So I'm excited about uh, that. The delays are definitely hurting this series a little bit for me. Um, I'm excited to get it all collected in a hardcover later on in the fall. But for now, I'm fine with my single issues. This one's got a cover price of $3.99. I'm just getting cover A. And uh, since we're talking about DC Comics and Milestone, uh, let's go with the rest of the DC Comics books this week. Uh, first up, is Action Comics issue 1040. Action Comics written by Philip Kennedy Johnson. Um, I feel like it's been a sleeper hit. Like uh, Superman, Son of Kal-El kind of takes up all the headlines, but Philip Kennedy, Philip Kennedy Johnson has been telling a really great story with Superman on War World, fighting without powers. And we're almost at the end of this story arc, which I'm really excited about. It's been really, really good. Very underrated superhero book, with great art, great action, great storytelling. Uh, that one's got a cover price of $4.99. I'm just getting cover A. Next up from my DC Comics pull list is DC versus Vampires number five. Uh, DC Vampires written by Matt Rosenberg with James Tynan. Uh, really the writing is pretty much all Rosenberg, but he's writing an idea by James Tynan IV. And it's really good. It's It was kind of a slower burn than say like a DC, something that Tom Taylor might've written. But 
I'm really enjoying it. Basically, there's a bunch of vampires in the DC universe and Batman's trying to figure out who it is, who 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 can he trust? State your biz, friend or foe, right? So the last issue was pretty action-packed and ended on a pretty ridiculous cliffhanger where it appears that like all of the Justice League has been turned to vampires. So we're going to see how this fight goes with Batman and somebody that I won't spoil in issue number five this week. Uh, that's got a cover price of $3.99. I'm getting cover A. Next up is Detective Comics issue 1054. Got to be honest with you, I'm really picking this up for the covers the variant cover by Lee Bermejo, to be specific, um, and also the backup story. Funny enough, this backup story is also by Matthew Rosenberg, who wrote DC Vampires and Four Kids Walk Into a Bank. Safe to say he's on my uh, authors that I need to like watch out for uh, list. He's, he's made that list. He's earned his spot. I really like his dialogue and I like his storytelling. Uh, but anyway, Detective Comics 1054 has got a cover price of $4.99, since they're packing these oversized issues in, uh, I'm just getting the cover B by Lee Bermejo because it's awesome. Like, look at that. By the way, like, how often do you see, like, the detail in Robin's shorts? Like, it definitely still doesn't look practical, but at least it looks a little bit better than, like, the spandex, spandex shorts that we had, you know, back in the day. Anyway, I'm on a tangent. It's got a cover price of $4.99. I'm getting cover B. And the last book on my DC Comics pull list is Robin. Robin issue number 11. Uh, in issue number 10, we got a little bit more history of Raj Al Ghul or Raish Al Ghul, depending on what media you're familiar with, right? Really, really dope stuff. I love that this series, like, is really helping out with our characterization of Damien. He's, he's learning who he is. He's learning more about his past and about himself. And then he's kind of getting his agency through this series. Uh, but anyway, last issue, we set up a huge fight between Ra's al Ghul and his mother. Uh, so that's just going to be fun. That's going to be exciting to see how that goes. It's got a cover price of $3.99, and I'm getting cover A. And that's actually it for my DC Comics pull list. So if I just stick to the list, my DC total uh, is just going to be $22. We're on the right track. We're on the right track. Let's move on to Marvel, though, where the first book on my pull list is The Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 90. Uh, so we are still, what, this is what, part 16, 17 of the Beyond storyline? And honestly, I'm just ready for it to be over. But we got a few weeks left. I think, yeah, I think it it ends in, in March. And then they're starting over in April with a brand new number one in Spider-Man and as much as I've enjoyed the Beyond storyline, it doesn't need to be weekly and it doesn't need to be this long. I'm ready for them to wrap it up. Yo, wrap it up, B. That's how I feel about Amazing Spider-Man. That's got a cover price of $3.99. I'm getting the cover A. And next up from Tom Taylor is Dark Ages, issue number five. I feel like it's been a minute since issue four came out and I'm kind of fuzzy on what happened. I don't really remember. It's a nice Tom Taylor Elseworlds. There's only six issues in the series. So I'll probably just, you know, read it all back to back. Well, I can binge read issues three, four, and five or something like that to get back abreast of what's happened in the story. But if you're not reading a bunch of Marvel books or, you know, you just want something that's a little bit lighter and you don't have to, it's self-contained, this is a great series for you to pick up. And it's, it's really good. I remember like just the whole thing with Apocalypse and anyway, anyway. Uh, Dark Ages number five. It's got a cover price of $3.99. I'm getting cover A. Next up uh, is a brand new number one this week from Marvel Comics. I don't know if I'm going to pull it, but I'm probably going to get the issue one. This is Ghost Rider issue number one. Um, it's written by Benjamin Percy, um, who I really enjoy uh, on Wolverine. And this is a nice oversized issue, like double sized 48 page issue. I feel like the story is going to kind of, or the book is going to kind of live or die based on the artwork with me. I mean, it's a dude with a flaming skull. I don't know anything else about the character, but it's got to be something that looks cool on the page, right? And so that's what I'm looking for. I know Ben Percy definitely does like layers. He does, he loves the tortured soul type of stories. I don't know if that's what Ghost Rider's got going on, but I mean, if your head's on fire, it's got to be something like that, right? 
But um, 48 pages of Ben Percy's story, I feel like that can be dense, but I feel like the artwork can really help get through that. So hopefully, hopefully it's, it's going to be good. It's got a cover price of $5.99, but again, it's an oversized issue. It's 48 pages. Um, I'm going to get the cover A, or maybe I'm going to get that Ultimate Comics exclusive because I love that frame around it, but that's the one that you should grab. Uh, next up is Miles Morales Spider-Man issue number 35. This is also a tie-in to the Beyond storyline. Um, I don't remember. I feel like the last issue I read uh, Miles and Shift like broke into a Beyond facility. I don't know if I read the issue after that or if this is the issue after that. Overall, I'm just done with the stupid Beyond storyline. I want everybody to get back to their own books. That's how I feel. But who wants a big gap in their run, right? So Miles Morales has a cover price of $3.99. I'm getting cover A. And uh, the next book on the list is Strange Academy, issue number 16. Now, Strange Academy was a book that I was going to drop. Actually, I was supposed to drop like five issues ago and then I forgot. And then like, you know, I'm one of those guys, like if I, I'm a man of my word. So if I order a book, I'm going to buy that book, even if I don't remember that I ordered it. Right. So if I get to the counter and they pull out my pull list and it's like, all right, cool, here's the stack and Strange Academy is in the stack. I'm not going to be like, yo, put this back. I'm going to buy it. And then I'll be like, cancel it next time. And then I forget to cancel it next time. So, but anyway, I read the first six issues of Strange Academy, really enjoyed them. My only gripe is there's just a few too many characters to focus on. So the way I kind of got through that first six issues is I picked my favorites and sort of tuned out the rest at, to a degree. Um, so I'm wondering like what I would like to see from Strange Academy. And maybe that happened over the last... 10 issues that I've missed. I want to dive a little bit deeper into like the interpersonal relationships between, you know, certain members. Maybe this person's got the best friend and we get like a, you know, an issue where it's just those two talking. And so give me reasons to like all these characters as opposed to just picking my favorite and putting up with the rest. Right. Uh, but anyway, Strange Academy, uh, this issue, they're going to the school dance and it looks like one of my favorite characters is, uh, you know, paired up with one of my other favorite characters. So it's a good reason to stick with the series. You're not reading on time, right? It's got a cover price of $3.99. I'm just getting the cover A. Next up is The Ten Deaths of Wolverine number three. You listen, listen, I am loving Ten Deaths or X Deaths of Wolverine. It's basically like Moira McTaggart, enemy of the state, can't like, no one can be trusted. You're not safe with anyone. Everybody wants you dead. I fully enjoy it. And on top of that, we're getting like this evil Wolverine who we've only seen like two glimpses of, um, but he's on a rampage and we got to figure out why. Um, so I'm excited about that. We're basically at the halfway point of each miniseries. So anyway, I'm excited about these books. Uh, 10 Deaths of Wolverine or X. Deaths of Wolverine number three has a cover price of $4.99 and I'm getting the cover A. And that was the last book on my Marvel Comics pull list. So if I just stick to the list, my Marvel Comics are going to cost me $27 this week. Again, not bad, not bad. We might be under budget this week. Uh, so let's move on to the independent slash creator owned titles this week. And uh, spoiler alert, there's only one only one on the list, and that is Gunslinger Spawn, issue number five. Out of the Spawn's universe titles, Gunslinger Spawn was my favorite issue number one, and I just kind of didn't read issues two, three, or four. But still, issue five is on the pull list. You know why it stays on the pull list? Because I really like the character. He looks cool. I have a toy. I have an action figure of him. And, and, and the artwork is great in the book. So that's why it's on the list. I'm probably going to cut out some of these Spawn titles, though. I think I'm going to keep King Spawn and Gunslinger Spawn and Regular Spawn, which would only leave the Scorched for me to cut. But that's the only one that really stands out as like, I don't need this book. So that'll save me $3 a month. <laughs> but Gunslinger Spawn number five has got a cover price of $2.99. I'm just getting the cover A, which is by Brett Booth, by the way. So if I just stick to the list, my indie comics this week are going to cost me $3. 
And if you're keeping score at home, then you know my grand total before taxes and before my 10% subscriber discount is $52, just about. I mean, I just added a penny to every price, so there's that. Uh, but after the discount, even after taxes, I'm gonna pay $50.19 this week, which means I'm 19 cents over budget, but who's gonna moan about 19 cents? Not I. That's a win for me. In my book, I'm under budget or I'm at budget, which is totally fine. But what's on your list this week? I'm very excited about my list, but I don't get I'm not super adventurous with my pull list these days. So I want to know what books are you guys trying out this week? What new number ones are you going to grab besides Ghost Rider? Um, let me know in the comments below. By the way, if you're looking for the exclusive variant for Ghost Rider number one for Electra Black, White and Blood number two or Silver Surfer Rebirth number two, you definitely need to go ahead and grab, go to ultimatecomics.com or just use the link in the description of this video, bjkicks.link slash ultimate. It'll take you right to the Ultimate Comics exclusives page and uh, you can order one, two, four until your heart's content. You can browse the older exclusives as well. Buy them until they're sold out. Uh, but yeah, super huge thanks to Ultimate Comics for sponsoring this video. And I hope to see you in the next one, right? Till then, I hope you saw something you liked. If not, hey, that's cool. You can always buy what you like. Just make sure you read what you buy. And be nice to others, because kindness makes the world go round. Peace.